What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Crib Zone excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. KZE, can you breathe the fruit? Welcome to another Crib Zone. It is way too cold to be doing this and that guy's in a freaking wife beater. It's been raining for a couple of days now. This park I visit to is known to actually flood when it does heavily rain. It's gonna rain for about one more week. So I'm hoping that by the end of everything, this place is gonna be nice and flooded for you guys so I can get some nice footage. It has been flooded before, but that was before I did YouTube and I didn't really record much. My feet are already soaking wet. The white vans are pretty much dead. They have a huge hole in them. Sit down. Sit. Goodbye. RIP the white vans. I'm still using them. I'm thinking about buying new white vans. Just because this channel's always been white vans. I'm back at it again with the white vans. Slow down. I think they just added that bench. Not enough rain for this place to be completely flooded. I'm pretty sure there's water in the creek. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today is Wednesday. Two more days until I finally get a phone. I know you guys have been asking about my Snapchat. I haven't had a phone. So I can't really log into Snapchat. I will be grabbing the Galaxy S9 and I will be making a video on purchasing it with Pier Dollar Bills. So look forward to that video. Ready? It's a beautiful Wednesday morning. I'm hoping there isn't too many crazy debris on the floor. I'm hoping I don't slide out of control because it's so wet. Oh snap, we have a dog. Hey! That brings up a perfect point. Probably my most hated thing. It happens a lot in this park. I don't know why, just people think it's a good place to let their dog loose. We're gonna be talking about loose dogs. As you guys may know, I've had a lot of loose dog encounters. Loose dogs are probably my most hated thing. That being said, I won't be letting crypto loose. In most cases, all the people that have loose dogs, in their defense, they say, oh, my dog's friendly. It doesn't matter if your dog's friendly. What if my dog isn't friendly? When your dog's off leash, you have absolutely no control over them. And let me tell you, loose dogs have easily become my biggest pet peeve. Dogs such as Crypto are your property. And if you or your property are ever in danger or feel as if you're in danger, you do have the right to protect yourself. If your dog comes up to my dog and is damaging my property, I will protect my property. Oh, look, Jolly Ranchers, someone was doing lean. There's such thing as EDC. No, it's not the place where people go do molly and dance to music that sounds like robots fucking. EDC is everyday carry. It's something that you carry every day to protect yourself. Does KZE EDC? Hell yeah, I EDC. But the best everyday carry is the one that's never spotted. If someone sees your everyday carry, then your job of hiding it is done very poorly. KZE, I wanna see your EDC. What are you packing? Not out in public, at least. I will be showing you guys my everyday carry once I get home. Is it legal for you to protect your dog if a dog is attacking? Honestly, and quite frankly, I don't really care. If a loose dog comes up to us and is damaging my property, which is known as crypto blood, I will do something about that. When a dog is loose, you have absolutely no control over the dog. Even if you think your dog's friendly, it's not the best idea to have a loose dog. All these encounters with these loose dogs has really changed my mind on letting crypto loose. I haven't let him loose in a really long time and I'm not planning to let him loose. This world is full of crazy people and you always need a way to defend yourself. Everyday carry is by far the most ensuring way for you to be somewhat more safe. If a dog does attack you, there isn't much you can do but kick the dog, punch the dog, poke him in the eyes. The safest way for both you and your dog will be to everyday carry. There's also a bunch of laws with blades and stuff Stuff. the blade has to be a certain size what's important you always do your research always do your research on what's legal and what's not legal in your state every state is different on what you can carry some states allow blades that are already switched out where other states only allow switchable blades you guys have to understand that a knife it's a utility tool until someone decides to use it as something other until you actually switch out the switchblade a knife can be used as a weapon Go, oh my gosh. Okay, that was dangerous. Oh, why? Oh, 
all these shootings that occur, all of these crazy massacres, we shouldn't blame the guns. We shouldn't blame the AR-15s. There's thousands, if not millions of people that own ARs and actually use them for things that they're meant to do. What can an automatic weapon possibly work for? If you're a farm worker and there's a bunch of wild hogs, you're gonna need a big old clip to kill that whole family of 12 pigs. There are gonna be crazy people. It's kind of sad how the media just heavily focuses on all the massacres. I believe that's the reason why those crazy people actually do it. They want the attention. They want to be known. The media has a big factor on why all these massacres are happening, why the number of them is heavily increasing. Every time a crazy massacre happens, every media outlet is blown up by the event. The reason why the person did it got what he wanted. He got all the attention. That has to stop. Media is by far the most messed up thing there is on the internet. They show us what they want us to see and they block everything else. That's the reason why you only see certain celebrities. The media chooses those celebrities. In order to be favored by the media, you pretty much have to give your booty hole to rich people. In order to be mainstream media, one person has to completely sell out. This whole media thing is completely out of control. But I think that's been enough craziness. I don't want to start too much controversy. This has probably been my most controversial topic by far. So let me know in the comments what you guys think about this. I don't really expect this video to get monetized. One third of my videos are demonetized by YouTube by now. But hey, that's all right. If you guys would like to support the channel via PayPal, I do have a PayPal. The email is CryptoTheHuskyDog at gmail.com. The revenue on YouTube is by far the most unstable thing I've ever witnessed. Oh, we have a dog. Oh, there's two. Aw. Hey. Sit down. Sit. Good boy. Whose dogs are those? Me and Papa YG are working on merch. I don't want to go to a website such as Spreadshirt. I'd rather us do it by ourselves. I feel like it'll be much more intuitive with you guys. Yes, merch is coming. That's going to be happening in about two months. Look forward to that. But for now, guys, if you guys would like to help me out, if you guys would like to sponsor $1, if you'd like to sponsor $5, go ahead and check out my PayPal and donate as much as you guys would like. If people know you have an everyday carry, you're doing a poor job on carrying that concealed weapon. This here is my Kershaw Fraction. This here's my everyday knife that I carry. Knives are only a weapon until the blade is actually exposed. If it's not exposed, this is just the utility. The Fraction here is a lightweight, weighing in at 1.9 ounces. The blade itself is 2.8 inches, making it legal in many states, with an overall size of 6.9 inches. The grip area being 3.2. I have an average sized male hand, and this fits perfectly four fingers on the grip area with a grippy thumb rest. This knife is a nice stealthy black color with a nice black wash finish. It is an Onzo design. The steel itself is a CR13 MOV steel, which is made in China. China right here. And I'm not talking about the horrible sloppy toppy one too. This is an unassisted pocket knife. This here flipper is the only thing that flips it out. It's not assisted. It does seem to be assisted, but it's actually not. Flipping motion is really impressive and it flips out with some pretty nice force, which I personally love. It has carbon fiber overlays on both sides. Pretty lightweight, it's pretty small, hollow on the inside, just to reduce some of the weight. The bearings on this is what allows this thing to just flip out. The pocket clip is reversible. It could either be for right-handed use or for left-handed use. There's two types of pocket knives. When you reach out for it and you pull it out, the blade itself is actually pointing upwards. The other type is where the blade points downwards. Now, theoretically speaking, the upward blade is by far much more effective. If the blade's pointing down, you're gonna have to flip and flip. That's just valuable time you're wasting. It actually eliminates one whole step of flipping the blade. But yeah, this is my everyday carry. It is really lightweight. You can't really tell that it's in here. This is meant for everyday use for such things such as opening cardboard. And since I am such an Amazon guy, you know I have the everyday carry. Like I said, this thing's a very useful utility. This thing's a tool. Since this is lightweight, it's not meant for heavy usage such as chipping wood. It's meant for things such as box openings, 
The point of the blade is pretty sharp. But there you guys go. This was a short little video of my everyday carry, the Kershaw Fraction. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.